Thank you, go for the pictures. Uh, listen to the city. Uh, I think that's, uh, and, and the people living in the city, of course, uh, important to listen to as well, because they have a lot of things to, to tell you, uh, as we say, that's where everything starts. Uh, the reason why we did this uh, uh, logo is that, that um, we are doing electrified buses. We are in the process of, of releasing that to the market. And one thing with electrified buses is that they are quiet. And, and hence is the, the logo, listen to the city. Hmm. But you can listen to the city in other ways as well. I mean, you can listen to what the city is telling you. Uh, the city is not feeling too well due to um, uh, emissions. Uh, the f uh, city is having a problem with congestions. So you, there is a lot of, of sense uh, by taking this advice, listen to the city and the um, li people living in the city. You know this, people. This is what I think we, as being vehicle manufacturers in, in public transport, has to address. The, the uh, urbanization is growing. The city are becoming more dense. That has to, to be dealt with. Uh, the climate change and alternative fuel is something which is very much on the agenda. Uh, more in some countries than in other countries, uh, you, you might say. Natural resources and raw material, I'm talking about oil, of course, but also other uh, uh, minerals, which we have here, which we have to take care of. Noise and congestions, this is what I talked about, listen to the system and local emissions. I think that I'm coming back to especially noise here, because I think noise is something which is of, of utmost importance for the cities in the future of many reasons. Safety and security are also the important uh, measures that we have to relate to. <coughs> so we have to make the, the public transport sustainable. And, and by sustainable we mean, of course, economical, social and environmental perspective. And, and uh, from the, the one way is then how is the public transport set up in the, in the city? and I'm talking then primarily about uh, buses. Uh, are we using it or are we putting it together with the normal traffic so it's part of the congestions? That's something which reflects on the economy uh, and how much, how the popularity of the, of the public transport is in, in the city. <laughs> the economic side of it is of course also, especially today I would say, important. The, the cities, if we take Europe, doesn't have too much money, so we have to be careful with the money that we have, so we have to select um, economic solutions. And here is a, an issue that we on the bus side have with that, uh, in many cases, other modes of transport are being financed. You talk about financing, public financing, they're being uh, financed from other ways, and that means that the, the uh, uh, how that could be um, judged uh, economically is turned around since all that. So that is something which we are uh, um, working with. Attract passengers, of course, that's what I talk about, bus rapid tra uh, traffic uh, systems, service, and being close to the passengers. We are, as I said, uh, uh, and, and we together with a lot of other manufacturers, I might add, taking a huge step when it comes to public transport. We're going from the diesel vehicles or diesel vehicle being driven with alternative fuels to electrified vehicles. We are, so, and, and there will be a lot of different electrified vehicles from hybrid, electric hybrid as we call them, plug-in hybrids or fully electric buses. All with a huge effect on the city and the city environment, addressing all of the, the uh, many of the issues I had in the beginning. Uh, I'll, I'll sh show you some examples. The legislation in, in uh, Europe means that we are down to this little level here over a very short period of time. And a lot of people say that we are, are at the sustainable level with that. But if we have that level and we electrify it we, we, with the hybrids, 
and the red one is with plug-in, and if you have fully electric, you don't have anything at all. So that is sort of taken care of with the new technology once we embrace the new uh, technology. Uh, noise, this is a map of uh, Stockholm, uh, and uh, the red it means that there is a, a noise problem. The more red, the more noise, and when it comes to be blue, then it's, it's very much noise. I think every city in Europe has a similar map showing the problem. And Stockholm are, are saying that this is one of the major problems, the noise from traffic. And um, the uh, Swedish uh, Transport Administration has uh, had an investigation done where they, in the city centers of the um, city, saying that one kilometer of, of, uh, of um, the difference between an electrified bus and a diesel bus is 40 cents per kilometer. And that's a lot of money. That's a huge amount of money. 40 cents per kilometer and bus in the favor of the uh, electric bus. Uh, so that's one way of, of putting money on, on noise. And, and you can imagine what that can mean. The most of that money is coming from how you can uh, utilize the city, how you can build, how you can put up your buildings. Uh, because uh, in many places, noise means that if it's over a certain limit, you cannot build there. So if you have a quiet bus, you can build. And that means that you can uh, make the city more dense by using the, uh, this. The lack of noise and lack of, of uh, uh, emissions, local emissions, also means that you can take the uh, vehicles closer to the user, so you can build the city uh, in, in a different way. I, I think that we have shown, and it, it is shown, that the availability and the next step of public transport when it comes to buses is here. We know how to do it. We know to, how to make quiet buses with no or very little local emissions. The challenge is how can the city utilize that? How can the city utilize that advantage in, in the development. How can we move the traffic closer to the uh, passengers, thereby attract more passengers, uh, thereby taking away people from cars into public transport, making the, the city more livable. Uh, energy efficiency was mentioned here. We think that that is extremely important when, when uh, taking the decision to go to electrification. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, this is electrified buses in, in, in this end with low energy consumption and extremely low uh, uh, CO2 emissions. And this is, of course, where we want to be, going from here to here. All except of this one is fossil free, but it's not enough to be fossil free. You have to be efficient in combination with fossil free. That's our opinion. And different, or oh, two minutes, I'll make it. Um, different type of electric vehicles can be used differently in different parts of the city, so there will not be one solution, there will be different solutions. <coughs> we have uh, done in, in the city of Gothenburg, we have cooperation with the city. I think we are about 15 different um, uh, parts of the city, the local universities, uh, uh, local electricity uh, utility, and other partners where we are doing a, a demonstration uh, of how not only the buses, we will have new electric buses, but also how the, the bus stops can be done. We will do one bus stop indoor and we will do uh, new bus stops. We will do a test and do different type of IT solutions where the bus is um, uh, automatically going down to a certain speed if, if it goes outside the school and you have areas where you have no uh, emission zones or quiet zones. So you can do a lot of things with this new technology combined with um, uh, IT solutions. And in order to keep the time, I could talk a lot about this, but to, to keep the time, I say thank you for your attention. <laughs>